What is going on, traders? It is your market engineer. We're back now. Been getting lots of questions on social, on the comments and stuff. And I kind of just wanted to do a video on this in general, how I'm planning on playing this. And I plan on playing it very similarly to how I played these guys right here in KLA. And we've talked about them before many times. So I think the best way to show you this was showing you it live. I have uh, on demand on right now. We have gone through a time machine. We are in June 8th of the market. So now you can see what's going on kind of pre-market here. I have it sped up, so it's moving a little bit quicker. We have already had the merger at this point. The uh, ticker has changed. It's not VitQ anymore. It's NKLA. We've had a long weekend of hype building, and now we have hit Monday, the Monday after the merger actually happened. So you see pre-market, we're moving nicely. This is what I call a dirty run. Look at this. We got blanks. That's a blank fill. That means no one bought or sold then. Blanks. I mean, it's just all over the place. So, choppy price action in the morning. Monday opens, and we are running up nicely. Now, if you don't know what some of these indicators are, I'm planning on doing another video after this. In that video, I'm going to touch on you know what they all mean in more detail but I'll, I'll gloss over it in this one so I have three indicators here I got three different daily SMAs these are a little bit different from uh, an EMA or, or just a traditional SMA in that it, it focuses more on the daily anyways the orange is our most aggressive line this tracks the price action very closely and the blue is directly underneath that so uh, they're indicators of one another when you see the orange going up right here, it's a good sign of upwards price action. And then you see it crossing the blue as the blue is also going upward. Another great indicator, and boom, rocket ship. So this is what I call a clean run. You got the 2-minute SMA blowing through the 9-minute, and we just have beautiful candles here, all filling green. Some of them are completely filled up, which... We'll touch on that in the other video too. The candles tell you a lot of what's going on. They tell you, you know, the price action, the rejection rate. You know, for instance, right here, the first indicator that this might not drop straight down is this candle right here, where you see it didn't completely fill. It filled partially, and then it wicked, meaning that the the buy pressure didn't allow the sell to fall this far. It pushed it back up to that point. So now. Right after that, we see another green candle, even further indicator that we might be in good shape. Green, you know, dicey, dicey, dicey. So the trend is your friend, man. You gotta, you gotta watch it, pay attention to it, look at the, look at the candles, look at the stuff, consider it all. All right, we are moving right along here. Sick. So now with the crash course lesson and Daniel's indicators, and kind of talk about how I ended up playing this finally. Touched here, I told myself. This is when I get out. If I see a cross of three indicators, I'm out of here, and it bounced. So, whew, dodge that one. Keeps running. This was a little bit sketchy right here. We had a decent amount of red candles, one after another, crossing both SMAs. But if you look at the MAC, you know, we didn't really go into the negative. We never went into the negative until the end of the day, like right here. We would do these touches and turns. So I said, you know, if, if the price action really starts to go negative, or we cross some major SMAs, then I will get out. Then it is just not worth the risk. I have too much money riding on this. I'm out. But we never did that. We got close. Got kind of hairy a couple of times, but we ran right up. This is where I said, fuck this, I'm out. I was already up almost 300%. Major red candles, and we're in the post market. You know, can't trade in the post market forever. And I didn't want to get caught with my pants down over in here in the post-post market where all the whales are swimming and they can literally just say, yeah, yeah, I'm out. And then it just sends this thing straight down. So I took profits, I said this is good, and I got out. Planning on doing the same thing with Shell Hylion. Looking for the clean runs and hoping that we have a good market as a whole going into this thing because that was the driving force of why this run went so good. Everything was gravy in the markets of, in general. If we can have the markets chill out, 
we can get a nice clean run like this. If the markets don't chill out, we might not get a run, and it certainly won't be clean. So keep an eye on the S&P 500. Keep an eye on all the things. That 3,300 level has been a bitch for the S&P. Touch and turn a couple of times. So look out for that. See if it breaks and holds. That'll be a great sign moving into Monday. I'm Daniel. I've been your market engineer. I hope you enjoyed. Like the thing. Do the stuff. Follow me on the social. I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. All the stuff. Catch you in the next one.